So today we're gonna to take a look at the two hottest gaming headset microphones you can get, the V-Motor and also the Antlion Mod Mic 4.0. And we're gonna be pitting these head to head against one another and seeing which one is the best or which one suits you for your particular needs. <laughs> Welcome back to Tech yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a review of the Antlion Mod Mic 4.0. Now this is a microphone that you don't need to do anything to change on your existing headphones. So if you have a good pair of audiophile headphones, you can essentially bang on this little clip, then put on your microphone, plug that into your computer, and you now essentially have a gaming headset, albeit with two wires. Now there is an alternative to that, and that is the V-Motor Boom Pro, which I have been using for a long time, especially if you followed me on my Tech Gaming Weekly podcast, where I use it every week. And everyone says that microphone's sounds exceptional. Though, how good does it sound against the mod mic? So I'm going to do a head-to-head -head comparison right now for you guys and you can be the judge on which you think sounds better. She sells SSD shells by the Micro Center store. He sells aliens that wear alien wear by the Dell store. Big butter boom for the base. She sells SSD shells by the Micro Center store. He sells aliens that wear alien wear by the Dell store. Big butter boom for the base. She sells SSD shells by the Micro Center store. He sells aliens alien wear by the Dell store. Big butter boom for the base. She sells SSD shells by the Micro Center store. He sells aliens alien wear by the Dell store. Big butter boom for the base. So the last test I'm going to do for you guys is run the Antlion Mod Mic off its included USB Y splitter there. So let's do that. She sells SSD shells by the Micro Center store. He sells aliens that wear alien wear by the Dell store. Big butter boom for the base. So there we have it. The tests do all the speaking themselves for the mics, and I thought the Antlion Mod Mic had a little bit more bass or a flatter response than the V-Motor Boom Pro, which had a little bit more treble, which made it seem a little bit more clear, especially when it came to voices. Though for what it's worth, I thought both these mics sounded phenomenal, especially for both mics that come under $50. They both introduced no noise on their own when I cleared out the noise over the onboard audio. Also, another thing about these mics is that one comes in at $30. That's the V-Motor Boom Pro. It also comes with a mute switch on there and a volume switch on there and it's honestly in my opinion the best choice if you've got a 3.5 millimeter inlet already on your headphones though the mod mic itself that comes in at $50 retail USD and that comes with a mute switch though you can get the option there without the mute switch which comes in at $43 You'll also notice that I did a test on this Y splitter as well. This is the Antlion Audio USB jack there, which splits off into a mic in and an audio out. And I thought the audio out sounded really damn good on this thing. The mic in did introduce a bit of noise uh, suppression there, which was a little bit noticeable in the test, though it was still very clear. And it is a good option if you're on an old motherboard, for example, with really bad audio, or if you want to plug it into the PS4 or some device with USB and you want to suddenly get audio into that device. So we'll keep this very simple though in closing. If you do have a pair of headphones that you really like and you wanna keep them and you wanna turn it into a gaming headset, and it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter input jack there, then I'd recommend going with the Mod Mic 4.0. Though if you already have an awesome pair of headphones with a 3.5 millimeter inlet and you wanna turn those headphones into a gaming headset, then I'd go with the V-Motor Boom Pro. And also one thing to point out is that the V-Motor Boom Pro doesn't have a pop filter on it as well. I actually had to put that on mine to make it sound as good as it was. If I didn't have it on there, there'd be a lot more pop and peas going through it. So anyway, that's about it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this review and comparison, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments about either of these mics, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Peace out for now. Bye. Do you clear of the lavalier? If you have no fear. What do you call a V-motor crossed with an Antlion mod mic? You just call it an Ant motor. <laughs>